how lockdown will be imposed or reimposed rather in Manila and surrounding provinces as coronavirus cases spike in the Philippines. From tomorrow, public transport and domestic flights will stop. People will have to stay home unless they need essential goods. Medical associations have already come together to warn the government that the healthcare system is on the brink of collapse. They say the new restrictions will give medical workers some breathing room. Case numbers in the Philippines have risen fivefold since authorities relaxed a first lockdown in June. With more than 100,000 infections, the Philippines is now close to overtaking Indonesia as the worst hit country in Southeast Asia. Siyempre po, yung ano namin, hanap buwan namin, laki pong epekto dahil sa problema na to. Ang sa akin lang po, kung anong masasabi ng Pangulo natin, sunod na lang po tayo para iwas po yung, para hindi po, no, parami ng parami yung ano natin ngayon problema. Wala kaming pasok bukas, dapat tuloy-tuloy yung pasok namin eh. Kaso ngayon, wala na ang MGCQ, wala na kami masakyan. Nahihirapan na po kami, gutom na po. Metro Manila, the Philippines Economic Center, and nearby provinces will be reverting to stricter lockdown, the modified enhanced committee quarantine, and there will be limited movements. There, are no, there will be no public transportation and domestic flights, and only few industries will be allowed to operate at 50% capacity. There will be heightened police presence to ensure that the public stays at home, as only those with quarantine and work passes are allowed to go out. President Duterte approved the shift back to a stricter lockdown, heeding the calls of healthcare workers for a time out as hospitals are again overwhelmed with the surge of COVID-19 cases. There's been a spread of the infection due to the opening of more businesses and public transportation. For example, the Met Manila Metro Rail Transit System or MRT3 line had to close down for five days in July since 186 of its employees tested positive for the virus. Under the factory in Laguna last week announced temporary closure as hundreds of its workers has COVID-19. The health department says the increase in the number of cases is partly due to the higher testing capacity. Medical groups, however, point out that there has been a failure in contact tracing and isolation of infected individuals, making it difficult to curb the spread of COVID-19.